Hello and welcome to the GTAC Tech Tube. Today's video will explain how to federate either Omnicast or Security Center in Security Center 4.0. The first thing to verify is your Security Center 4.0 license. Make your way to the directory branch of your server admin and verify that the correct parts are listed. Either Omnicast Federation parts, like these, or Security Center Federation parts, such as these. Now we can log into the config tool as an administrator, in my case, admin, in order to create the federations. Switch over to the network view, and then click on add an entity, and select external system. We're going to choose an integration service which will host the federation. I'll choose this one. And next we choose the type of external system, in this case, Omnicast Federation. Click on Next, and type in the IP address of the Omnicast directory you wish to connect to. Next, type in the username and password of a user that has access to the cameras you wish to federate. Also, please make sure to select the correct version of Omnicast that you are federating. Choose the Omnicast events you wish to federate, and then click Next. Here we must choose the partition that will host the federation. In my case, I will choose the public partition. Once that's done, we'll see the creation summary window, which explains what's going on. Afterwards, we see the creation outcome window, which explains if it went through OK. In this case, it was successful. Click Finish. As you can see on the left side, the federation has appeared in the tree. Clicking the Properties tab will show the connection status. In this case, it's connected. Lower down, we can add and remove federated Omnicast events. Also on the bottom of this tab is the Click Here for Diagnostic Information link. This is a very helpful tool for troubleshooting the Federation should you experience any issues with it. The other tabs above let you create actions for your Federation and also set up reporting for the Federation. Creating a Security Center Federation is very similar. Click on Add an Entity choose external system, choose a security center federation this time, choose the integration service that will host this federation, and click next. Type in the IP address of the security center directory you wish to federate, and type in a username and password that has access to it. Hit next. Choose a partition to host it, in my case it's the public partition. Next you'll see the creation summary as before. Hit next, and you'll see the creation outcome. Once you hit next, the federation will appear on the left side in the tree. We can visit the properties tab to make sure it's connected, and it is indeed. And there you have it, that is how you add a federation to Security Center 4.0.